Dr. Ronnie Floyd says Christians need to stop letting our nation define who we are. Floyd is a former president of the Southern Baptist Convention. He joins us now with more on his message of love and racial unity recently delivered at Mother Emanuel AME Church. Dr. Floyd, welcome. Of course, Mother Emanuel AME Church is where the South Carolina shooting happened uh, about three and a half years ago. The gunman Dylan Roof, a self-proclaimed white supremacist, killed nine members of the church. And you, Dr. Floyd, had the opportunity to preach there during the South Southern Baptist Convention. Tell us about your message and what you meant by not allowing our nation to define us as Christians. Well, as followers of Jesus Christ, uh, it's Christ who really defines who we are. Our identities in Christ and our authorities based off of Holy Scripture. And so I was there to bring one of the keynote messages uh, at the South Carolina Baptist State Convention. The South Carolina Baptist Convention, which was meeting in Charleston, um, was at another location, but on Tuesday night specifically, they wanted to meet at the Mother Emanuel Church. And uh, the church has really come together through the crisis back in 2015 and the, uh, the very unfortunate murder of those nine persons, including the pastor of the church. And so God really did a great work in the heart of the pastor at First Baptist Church of Charleston in all of this, as well as his church family. And uh, it was that pastor, Marshall Blaylock, who was the president of the South Carolina Convention, who had worked with me through racial unity when I was president of the Southern Baptist Convention. And with that, uh, ever since uh, that time in July of 2015, uh, we've been working together to do everything we can to forward the entire theme of, of racial unity in the United States. Now, I'm also the president of the National Day of Prayer, and our 2019 theme on May the 2nd will be love one another, John 13, 34. And so with this, I really talked from that passage that love one another just as I have loved you. That was my thematic passage for the message at Mother Emanuel Church. I followed one of the men who had lost his wife in the shooting, uh, who was the, was the leader of the gathering at that evening. And then, of course, there were obviously a lot of folks there from the church, as well as uh, a large, large overflow outside of the auditorium. It was an incredible gathering. And obviously, God is bringing his body of Christ together. And we're really, really grateful for it. Why is your message possibly even more important today than ever before? Well, there's never been a message, uh, you know, that Jesus didn't deliver that was not timeless. And uh, you look at where the country is with all the divisiveness and the vitriolic speech and uh, such division that is just not Christ-like, that is just not right. And while we can have different ideologies and approaches and we can differ with one another, we can still love one another. And Jesus called us to a higher way than we're living uh, here today in the United States of America. And that is not a political statement. That is a biblical and spiritual statement because all of us who are followers of Jesus Christ have been called to treat people in a higher level. We bring value and dignity uh, to human life from the womb all the way to the tomb. And every one of us that are followers of Jesus Christ, we need to do all we can to lift each other up. And if we're going to bring our nation together, then we're going to have to be together. And one of the things that really, uh, really uh, just really came to me over the last week, uh, even before I went there, a day or two before I was there last uh, Tuesday evening, is that it just really came to me that an unloving and divided church cannot call an unloving and divided nation to unity. And how can we call the nation to love one another and to unity if we cannot even do that within the body of Jesus Christ. And so I just would appeal to all followers of Jesus Christ, we need to lead the way. In fact, I, I said it the other day, mm -hmm. and I mean it with all my heart, and that is that we need a movement of love that begins in the church house, that goes to every state house in this, in this country, yeah. all the way to the White House. And we need to learn how to treat one another in a higher and a greater way. Dr. Ronnie Floyd, we appreciate your time. We do need to lead by love for sure. Thank you.